Fuck, fuck, fuck. Welcome to Savage and Savory, episode 2.75. New location, same shitty show. On this special send-off edition of Savage and Savory, we're saying our farewells to a dear and beloved co-worker and friend, Michael Humphrey Gallagher. You will be solely missed from all of us at the Sex Toy Factory. Today, we will be making buffalo bacon pizza burgers. An update on your host. He got his license back. Mathematically, only making him 87.3% a piece of shit. So, let's get it on. Currently, right now, what I'm working on is bringing a better product to you guys. Funnier content, better ingredients, and just overall classier experience. So to start that off with, I, I, bought, some, I bought some wine. It was on sale. Here is what you're going to need for your buffalo bacon pizza burgers. All these other YouTubers make it look so easy! Ground beef. Original recipe requires 1.5 pounds, but I say nah. Four and a half pounds. The softest, freshest buns you can get your hands on. You're going to want to squeeze to tell if they're fresh or not, but not too hard because that's asking for a restraining order. Pizza sauce. I probably got way too fucking much, but like anonymous cameraman always says, the wetter the better. The biggest bag of mozzarella you can get your hands on. Oh, baby, yeah. Now for the ingredients that the original recipe doesn't require. Usually what I like to do is take a recipe that's well known and savagerize it as I'm quoting it now. Recipe does not require bacon, so obviously the only thing I could do is get two pounds of it. Two chicken breasts. Angel butter. Buffalo sauce. Obviously I love Sweet Baby Ray's, but this shit looked really good too, and buffalo sauce is just good on everything. And some rib rub. This is what we're going to season the buns with. We're going to put a little bit of butter on them, and then put a little bit of this sweet and, sweet and spicy rib rub on there. Yes, anonymous cameraman. I am fully aware of my nipples that won't go down. First on the agenda, we're going to cook up the beef. I just gotta figure out a way to open it. I can't find my fucking knife anywhere. Not gonna waste any of your fine people's time looking for my knife for this entire fucking episode, but I did find the next best thing. Good. In the pan. Wine courses through the veins just a little bit quicker than Coronas do, so I should probably eat something because I haven't all day. I get a lot of heat from eating raw eggs. Oh, Brian, don't do that. You're going to get sick. You're going to die. I haven't been sick since I was eight fucking years old. I mean, unless you consider the summer of 2011 when I contracted gonorrhea. Those are dark times. Found my knife, guys. Now we can work on tenderizing and marinating the chicken a little bit. Holy 
forgot to put my uniform on too, which is probably a good thing. The shirt is hilarious, but it makes me look like I'm morbidly obese. Not much marinating actually needed here because it's just going to get turned into a shredded chicken buffalo slurry. But, you know, we'll tenderize just, just a wee bit. Without completely demolishing the countertop and the floor below it, it's kind of like trying to smash when your parents are in the next room. I mean, it's doable. It can be done. But it's just not the same. Get your chicken. Drizzle just a little bit of that oil up on there. Just kidding. Smell of cooking meat and every single bush in 1982 can show me. The only thing that would be better if Taylor Swift never became a fucking pop star. Alright, next we're gonna bake our bacon because I'm uh I can fuck up a wet dream and I'm five for five for fucking up bacon, and that's un-American. Once you got your bacon all laid out, you're gonna throw that bitch up in the hot box. Now we're taking our angel butter and we're gonna mix it with some buffalo sauce. You're going to want to make sure you get the buffalo sauce in there before the angelic aura completely leaves because otherwise it's just going to taste like normal butter. Chicken's done. We're going to dice this shit up nice and fine like. Now we add this chicken to the mixing pot. Now, mix tenderly. Half the bacon's done. Time for the other half. Oh, that's a nice kitty. Pretty disappointed in this bacon. Actually, the last couple of times, it's really fatty and not much actual pink bacon. 
But life is full of disappointments, just like me. Probably why my dad never came back. Beat sauce time. Oh, fuck. I get every last drop. And the sound of the day goes to the ground beef with the fucking pizza sauce. Second round of bacon isn't quite done yet, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our layer of meat onto the pan. All right, once you Get the meat laid out on there. It should be about as flat as an Asian gymnast. And second round of bacon's done, so we're gonna chop all that up next. All right, the knife really isn't doing the job, so I got one of these handy dandy fucking as seen on TV choppers. So you're gonna get it into a nice ant mound, fucking bacon castle, whatever you want to call it, and just get your device up on there. that was too much, I plugged the chopping mechanism. And for those of you who are uh, health conscious, let me just squeeze out some of the bacon juice. Then Take your bacon puree, giblets, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to spread it over the beef. Once your bacon is spread equally throughout the entire pan, you're going to grab your chicken angel butter buffalo mix, and you're going to put it over the top like frosting. Once your angel butter buffalo sauce chicken is properly placed over the top like the frosting it's time for the goddamn motherfucking sprinkles once all the cheese is added you really want to go pretty thick with it. We are going to throw it up in the hot box on broil. Just mind you, everything has already been cooked in here. We're just trying to get a nice melted golden brown top on the cheese. Now we're going to melt up some butter to lather up our buns. Next, you're going to take each bun, dip it in the butter lightly, and then dab on just a little bit of the rib rub. Once you got the buns properly buttered and seasoned, you just place them down in a pan like this, and we're gonna set this down on the on the burner once we get some of the shit cleared off. And we're broiling the top of the burgers very, very slowly, just because I'd rather play it safe than sorry with this. So that's gonna take a while. Oh look, more fanciness. Pinkies up, kids. Sweet red. 
really tastes like I'm calling into work tomorrow. <laughs> Holy motherfuck. She's done. Oh. Would you look at that perfect fucking color. Corona. Sponsor me. Give me free shit. God only knows. I drink enough of your shit. This might be the most tasty thing I've made yet. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I had a blast doing this episode. This is Savage and Savory. You have a fucking great night. Tune into episode three, the long awaited, because I'm gonna show everybody how to decimate all with only three inches.